Is that good stuff? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You know, his word is becoming a lie. Probably the best thing you can do is start. make sure you read the word. That's just a suggestion to you. If you if you if you read the Bible on a consistent basis, follow what's do as we're reading it, roughly three chapters a day, it's gonna make so much more sense. Because you're getting involved in it. You can see the progression, you can see how it works, you can see why God did things the way he did them. But if you don't, you're gonna miss it. And I don't know, I, I tried to live my life all by myself the way I wanted to for 34 years. It didn't work. <laughs> when I started to say, God, all right, show me how to do it, <laughs> he did. But once he showed me, guess what? I had to listen to him. I had to follow what he was trying to tell me to do. I'll be honest with you. I know it's kind of foreign to you at first. It's a completely different lifestyle because we, we've got some pretty bad habits. But once you, you allow yourself to get following him, you won't, you, won't, you, you will not want anything else. And then when you do slip back, like Tom was talking about, you can bounce right back up. And by the way, the people are worth their salt to give you and not hold it against you. In fact, that's truly, we, we grow more through this good the slips and the falls and the discipline we ever do any other way. And anybody that thinks that they can make it through this thing without slipping or falling, you're not, you're not, in, you're not in the battle. You're not fighting a good fight of faith. You just can't do it. That's, that's not part of the process. That's why, even though we don't understand, you don't have to understand. The more you try to understand it by your own, your own wisdom, the more you're going to mess up. Just let God go. Oh, amen. I don't want to preach all that. Keep going. But it's more fun. I cannot believe how exciting this life can become. Amen. Get him on a bus. Go make a bus. Get on your knees. You don't have to sneeze. In other words, just get down on your face and, oh, God. Anyway. Is it fun? I'm just having fun. Just living this life, man. I mean, you know, well. I really am. Learning every day. Be willing to learn. Be willing to change. Be flexible. Pliable in the hands of the Lord. Amen? Amen. All right. Heavenly Father, I just pray tonight, God, just speak to us. Each and every one of us. Help us develop that personal relationship with you. So we know how real you really are. In your heart. That we can just go forth. Trust in you, believe in you, and knowing if you're for us, there's nothing to be against us. And truly, you do have our best interest at heart. And then, God, you start to use us to minister to other people. For your glory, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Go get them. Have a good one.